17 fantastic Toronto townhouses you can buy right now. Hello everyone, this is Yossi Kaplan and today we're going to review 17 of the most fantastic, awesome, amazing Toronto townhouses you can buy right now. Okay, this is YossiKaplan.com. Uh, you know me from the websites. This is YossiKaplan.com. You can find information about investing in real estate, uh, various properties, pre-construction, assignments, Toronto condo assignments for sale, so on and so forth. This is my Twitter, twitter.com slash Yossi Kaplan. You get all the latest news. Uh, this gets updated several times a day, depending on uh, what's going on, and you'll find the videos, assignment information, floor plans, whatever you need. Uh, this is my YouTube channel you're watching right now. So please sign in, subscribe, like, dislike, leave some comments, whatever you like. It's all good. I enjoy it all very much. Thank you very much. Uh, re uh, I just posted yesterday, actually, May 2019, 18.9% increase in, uh, in uh, sales. And guess what? Toronto townhouses, of course, are one of the major brackets up there. And you'll see in a minute why. Okay. This is UrbanRealtyToronto.com, where I post most of the Toronto downtown properties for sale, condo assignments for sale, Toronto condos for sale, on and on and on. And then on YorkvilleLuxuryRealEstate.com, I post my million dollar listings. So this is the most recent article that I posted also this week with a video. And this article will show you, I literally cut and paste and, and made all the research about 27 of the top units you can find right now to buy in Toronto in the million dollar range. Okay, so let's start. Uh, we're going to go to yossi.searchrealty.co. This search here, I'm going to leave, that's a power here. I'm going to leave uh, available for you in the comments below. So you can actually click on that link and get to what's new in Toronto townhouses for sale. And this is filtered uh, by $1 million on a minimum. So if you click on filters here, I'll put a one bath minimum. That just helps me to uh, clear any mistypes, any commercial units, and so on and so forth, in case they didn't come through the other filters. And I put the price at $1 million minimum. There's no max price. And the only other things I ticked is condo, condo, townhouse, house. Uh, this won't really make a difference. Okay, uh, there you go. And then you get the map and you can click on the map on the right side and see the information on the left. So I spent uh, an hour this morning going through a lot of listings, hundreds of listings, and I came up with the 17 top Toronto townhouses for sale that I can find on the market right now. So let's start. The first one we're going to look at is 993 Queen Street West, which is the candy factory. It's a beautiful building that was um, remodeled probably 20 years ago by Harry Stinson. That uh, if you haven't heard of Harry, he's, he's quite the character and uh, a known uh, person in the Toronto and Hamilton real estate. Uh, and this is the candy factory. This is a beautiful old factory. Obviously, they made some candies in there, probably other things. And this is a hard loft conversion that was done uh, some years ago. And of course, all kinds of renovations throughout the years. And this is what you get. This is a very unique property. You're literally just across the street from uh, Trinity Bellwoods, my favorite park in the city, of course, and yours too. And you can see the brickwork in here, the old wood, Really gorgeous, absolutely beautiful, and um, location could not be better. Uh, across the street, uh, there's fresh restaurant and the Swan if it's still there. So really nice place. Okay, this this building is fantastic. Uh, so this is 993 Queen Street West, uh, Unit 106, uh, asking 1,359,000 for a very large one plus one 1450 square feet. Okay, 14 foot Douglas fir ceiling. This is really nice. Built in 1907. This is classic. This is a Toronto classic. You can barely get these right now. So there you go. Moving on to the next one. I'm going to go a little modern here. This is on Bartlett Avenue, 50 Bartlett. This is Townhouse 8 on the market right now, asking 1,669,900. Here you'll find a two bed, three baths with over 1,600 square feet. Okay, and you can see all the info if you, if you go down here. If you need information, right now I'm logged in as myself, so you can see this is my name, my email, you'll see searchrealty.ca, my phone number, you can text or call, and if there's no answer, the voicemail will come and I'll get your voicemail, of course, and just hit send and I'll get it. You can also add your own notes on this property. You can add a scorecard here and you can say, how do I like it? Uh, good for schools, like the condition. Maybe location is not so much for me, or maybe yes, and the amenities and the taxes are high, or whatever it is, okay? But we like to be positive, we give it all five star, okay? And similar property will come here. And this unit here at 50 Bartlett, it's a high ceiling, it's another beautiful uh, loft, 
everywhere is done really really nice and it's kind of an old school loft hard another hard conversion beautiful stairs um, obviously you know you can do whatever you want with the indoor space uh, as you know if you looked at the listing for the 719 west condo uh, our team did the renovation so if you do need renovation in town just give me a shout and i'll, I'll give you some amazing names of the best crews uh, licensed of course they will do fantastic renovation for you so that's 50 baht if you want to see where it is just click on the map and the map will pop up and you ride at dover court uh dufferin and lure uh, very nice area good for families good for artists good for anyone that want to be kind of in the west end of downtown okay so you're not in the junction yet but you're kind of in uh, close to it so that's 50 baht click here go back to the photos uh, if there's a tour of the property, it'll, it'll be available where it says tour and then you can go here and so, Sometimes these tours will be like a 3d tour or a camera tour and sometimes will be a video But you can zoom in and see that's a beautiful little focus Okay, so beautiful loft here. All right uh, The next one we're gonna look at here is 370, 379 Madison Which is part of the young and Eglinton kind of rejuvenation incredible place to live and unique townhouse Casa Loma neighborhood, okay, very, very nice. Here you get, it's a larger home, uh, three bed, three baths, uh, over 1,800 square feet. And um, the price asking is 1,688,800. Let's have a quick look. This is a, a newer, modern, all the bells and whistles. Uh, a bit of a narrow balcony at the back there. But all the rooms are very nice. There's a lot of space in this unit and it's, it's, it's modern. So if you're looking for a kind of high-end like living, nice space these are the amenities of the building of course and there you go that's the townhouse and again if you want to see the location uh, you can hit the map button here and it'll show you exactly where you are i'm gonna scroll down here um i, I correct uh with uh sinclair and uh sinclair dupont avenue and bathurst area i think i said young and egg so just south of there um, and the street view just open uh, google street view you can take a look here it, indeed casa loma area and here we go. So that's McPherson here. And this is part of the rejuvenation of, of these areas on McPherson. They were done. So Castle Loma would be uh, to the right here. And these are the townhouses. So they were built as part of McPherson Madison project. Very, very nice. Uh, it's kind of a nice little quiet pocket. But you're literally on top of Yorkville. And just below Castle Loma. Oops. Just moved here, but can we see the mountain? Uh, it's a lot of greenery, but the mountain of Casa Loma is right there. All right, so that's 379 Madison Avenue, Townhouse 6, asking 1.6888, three bed, three baths. If you want to see the tour, hit the tour button. It's going to open either a video or a 3D tour. Uh, what do we get here? We get a virtual tour. Okay, so there's a video here. And there's a beautiful, high-end, sharp, sharp, sharp gallery. So you can see all the things here. Great. Toronto Townhouse is for sale. Moving on to 2 Belfort Avenue. Townhouse 6. Asking 1.619 million. Offering 3 baths, 4 baths. At uh, about 1,900 square feet. Let's have a look. So, start with the beginning here. Here is your entrance. And it's going to give you uh, a quick view of this corner unit very nice that's a classic downtown toronto townhouses there's lots of these but not that many really there are many but not so many you can see the quality of the finishes here is very nice the floor looks really nice to me at least from the pictures kitchen is modern with the touch of a country style okay nice white door high ceilings that's a proper home and it's a large home and we got a nice outdoor space and i really like the outdoor space especially now with summer is finally here uh we, they even have a little jacuzzi oh there's some noise at the cafe everything's going on that's downtown <laughs> no suit today all right so there you go very very nice corner unit lots of light terrace very spacious Hope I'm not going too fast, but I got 17 of these to review for you. Uh, here's the gym. This is nice. This is very nice. Okay. And uh, I'll show you um, the street view first, and then we'll go to the map. <clears throat> so there's Belfair. So it's a residential area. 
there's some uh, newer or modernized construction. And here's the project. Very, very nice. I like these new modern projects in the middle of an older place because that also tells me that the density uh, is not going to be that high because it's all residential around me. So that means that the values are going to be good because, you know, I'm not going to see a thousand unit condo coming in here anytime soon. So that's, that's supply and demand. That's, the demand's always high in Toronto. We discussed in the video yesterday why it is. And um, that, so the demand's there, okay? Uh, I said I'll pop the map. There she is. Didn't work. Uh, map didn't work. Photos. Okay, so we, we can always like go like this and open that in Google or Google Maps and then you'll see what's going on if you want to see the map, okay? And some more information about the unit. So we're on the east side, right? E. And you can see they spend money on California Closet and Murphy Bed. All these things that come with this townhouse. Uh, the monthly association fee, thirteen sixty-six. Property taxes for the year. This is monthly. This is annual. So if you want to do the monthly, take this one. Plus this number divided by 12. Okay. For 2018. And all the information is here for you. And you can, again, you can book a showing right here. The calendar will pop. I want to see this date. Okay. Just hit request because you logged in. You get the information right away and you can keep a note, scorecard, and so on. Toronto Townhouse for sale. Moving to 40 Westmoreland Avenue, Unit 11. This is a more expensive one. It's a really lovely unit asking $2.885 million. So this is a very unique property. Okay, it's a townhouse. If you're looking for a home replacement, if you're, if you're scaling down or just need more space in town, and want to do it in style, this is a great option for you. So it's kind of combining modern and traditional. Uh, I definitely like the white painted uh, brick wall in the kitchen. So it's kind of a, a bit of an industrial uh, restaurant kitchen homage to an older converted uh, commercial spaces almost. But the whole tone is very warm and nice. Okay. Also, it's a large unit. Um, lots of detail here on uh, millwork. Uh, it's very, very nice. I could look at that. Sunshine, modern, traditional, modern, traditional. Very nice juxtaposition here. Here's a walkway into your glorious bedroom. Beautiful bathroom. Look at these glass doors. Classic. And of course, the top. This is the second floor. So here you get uh, the point of the church, the attic of the old church, and a bit of a home gym. <laughs> that must be Audrey Hepburn. And there you go. So you get the top right here. You get the top of the church. So you really get to live in this unit. That's really, really nice. Go back to the front, okay? So that's Westmoreland. That's a large unit, okay? That's uh, over 2,800 square feet. Two bedroom, four bathrooms, and it's a heritage home. It's a, it's a complete uh, conversion. So those are very very expensive to do. So that's why the value is here. It their size, there's location, and there's conversion work, and also because it's historic. It's a it's a very unique property. But you know, it was installed with all the bells and whistles. That's a quarter million dollar kitchen right there. Okay. Lost internet. Reconnect. Okay. Uh, there's also two car parking here okay in a loft style very very nice just under three million dollars in Toronto okay show you the location so you back at Dover Cove Park it's the area to be my friends really beautiful okay and again if you want to go back you go here and if you want to see the street view just hit this here and it should open the street view doesn't always so accurate but yes we are so we right here that unit right up there that's the unit. That is amazing. Okay. Um, back to my hood. This is Queen West, 850 Richmond Street, Unit 14. Uh, these pictures didn't come up really nice, but I've spoken about this development before. So that's just south of uh, Bellwood. So if you want to be right downtown, close to Bellwood, kind of get a nice view of the park or by the park. Get a bit of open air space. Uh, these pictures are probably thumbnails, so quality is not right there. 
Maybe the tool will have the quality. Let's check it out. There we go. All right, so we got crisp pictures here. You can really get a good idea of what this unit looks like. Well modernized kitchen. A lot of the uh, downtown townhouses uh, look somewhat like this because they tend to be slightly narrower, so the kitchens are all built in. So that's the solution. And of course, but where the kitchen is, you usually find it's a classic design for a townhouse. It just works best with these kind of spaces. Okay, and there's a second floor, hangout room, living room. Very nice bedroom. Nice bicycle there. Well designed and uh, very nice taste for the bathroom too, his and hers. Nice hardware. Just a quick look at uh, the patio and some views from the patio. Not bad. So that is 850 Richmond. Uh, unit 14 asking 1.9 million, 1899. Uh, okay, the next Toronto townhouse for sale I have for you is at 921 Adelaide Street West, which is very close to the Richmond property. Okay, and that's that's also uh, like a classic. This is this is really um, what townhouses used to be or homes, deta uh, semis and detached used to, to look like in the late 1800s in Toronto. And here is a nice architecture that brings that feel, but in new construction. And then what you get here is you get much modernized uh, version of the 1885 design, which I really like because it kind of it's got a historic element to it. You know they actually lived really well back in the days, 150 years ago, uh, and then you can do it just with all the new construction technology. Some coffee coming out. All right, so here's what you get. This is a uh, west end of Adelaide. Adelaide becomes a small street at that point it's not the busy Adelaide you used to okay it's got a tiny bit of a outdoor space got a nice bath it's all nice so just to you understand why I show you so you literally um, around Bellwoods again uh, just south and west of Bellwoods so very very close to the candy factory uh, that we showed earlier and to 850 Richmond it's all in the same neighborhood Green West Okay, this is uh, King West, just west of Bathurst, King and Bathurst, the summit. So this is the same um, project where I showed you 799, the listings that uh, we currently have. And these are the townhomes that belong to the project. This is an immaculate uh, concept, five-acre property that is has the best amenities in town. This townhouse enjoys the same pool, the gym, the squash courts, the management, the lounge that you've seen at 705. Uh, 701, 705, and 725 uh, King Street and 5, 570 Wellington are the townhouses. And uh, there's uh, this is one of the largest townhouses, hence the price. And it's got gas cooking. It's all done up really, really well. This is a serious property right at King West. So if you look for this type of living in this location, if you want to walk, you literally at King West. So you can walk anywhere you like. What was that here? Uh, that's some kind of a light around around the, uh, the entrance. Okay, very very nice from the top. These townhouses are very spacious. Now they were built uh, a while back in the 80s. So in the 80s, you know, people were moving from large houses to condos. They really wanted a lot of space and a lot of storage space. So everything was properly designed. This is a whole storage, a whole wall of storage right here in the top floor, and you got enough room for a yoga mat. Okay, a little bit of outdoor space, private. This is uh, facing Wellington. And you're at the summit, okay? You're at, uh, and this is uh, 1.35, 570 uh, Wellington. And this is townhouse 14A. There's, there's, there's a handful of these townhouses. They don't come on the market that often, and there they are. Okay. Uh, we're gonna bounce to uh, St. Clair, 288 St. Clair Avenue West. This is a smaller project of high quality townhouses. And this is one of the units here for sale, just under 2 million. So this is a newer project, uh, high, high end, everything just to the max. And that's what you would expect at Young St. Clair, the Long St. Clair, Young and Eglinton, the Long Eglinton. This is a beautiful tub with his and hers. That's 
cool. That's very nice. A little den slash hangout room with a window, attic style. That's a kid's, uh, that's really cute. That's like a kid's area and then they can do their homework right there. Two planes, maybe they're twins or two boys. <laughs> Yeah, and that's the bathroom probably on the top floor. That's uh, mom and dad's uh, workspace with an espresso machine right next door to your office, in the, at your office. And here's the project. There's only four or five doors here. Okay, so that, that's a nice, unique property. And a park next door for your kids. So definitely a family-style situation here. Three bed, three baths, uh, over 2,000 square feet, completed in 2015. 288 Sinclair Avenue West, asking 1.989 million, so just under 2 million. All right. The next one of townhouse for sale we're going to look at is 22 George Street. This is townhouse one, asking 1.588. It's a three bed, three baths, uh, about 1,900 square feet, 1845. Open concept. Look at this. It's, it's basically a, a large, a very large condo style townhouse. Uber modern, everything's built in, nice island, storage space. Um, you know, when you have a bit more space, it's easier to make the design work better than, say, a 450 square feet. So you'll find a lot of these townhouses very, very, very good. And for the space you get, it's, it's relatively, you get more because there's enough space for the architect to design. Sometimes they're not so bound by the little nooks and crannies that the small spaces have. So that's really good. Wow, look at these tiles. <laughs> that is serious. If you like that, great. If not, ask me for a contractor to put some white subway tiles for you if that's what you like. Um, it is just gorgeous. Some gym, here's the door, kitchen, and here's the project. So the townhouse at the bottom, condos at the top, common area. Very good. So 220 George, townhouse one. Okay. And that's, that's uh, obviously that's very, very downtown, um, just east of Yang. So if you look into, if you're working in the financial district, uh, you need some space, uh, that, could, that, that could be it. It's a large space and the price is not that bad for a three bedroom, three baths, you know, under 1.6 million. Uh, story is one, style two story, so it's a two story. 1300 for the fees, and it's got parking. Okay, very good. Moving on, uh, this is a red path, so now we're at Young and Egg. Start with the map. Okay, so you literally at uh, Mount Pleasant, so just east of Young. There's a lot of development happening in, uh, in this area. A lot of stuff's happening in this area, and with the LRT, this area is becoming super hot. It was kind of a, of a, of a well-guarded secret, and a lot of rent, the old rental buildings from the 60s, and now we get a lot of condos here. There's a whole bunch of them, and you can see all these nice developments. So if you're looking to live in this area in a new, these are rentals, okay, so you can rent here, large units, or you can buy in one of these uh, townhouses, condos, and some of these condos will have either uh, separate townhouses, part of the property, or separate uh, property, or part of the condo in the main floor. Okay, so let's look here. And here you're looking at the little building next to the tower. So you're next to the tower. That's why it's got the B uh, showing you the, uh, the entrance. And this is a new build. Very, very nicely done. Gorgeous art on the walls, by the way. L-shaped kitchen. This is this is a very nice light. These people have really really nice taste, in my opinion. You know, taste is a matter of you like it, you don't like it, but I love it. It's probably one of the nicest we've looked at into today. Everything is really nice. It's got a bit of touch of modern, a bit of classic. Look at the chandelier. I guess the baby has grown. So a lot of the townhouses uh, speak to busy families with kids that still want to leave downtown don't want to go to the suburbs. So that's a really good solution for you. And of course, townhouse is also a good store value because what we spoke about of demand, okay? There's a lot of demand, but not too many, especially if you want to live in a low rise. 
like this one. So open views, open spaces, very nice. And this is a 75 red path, 75B, three bed, four baths, uh, over 2,000 square feet and a 500 square feet rooftop patio. So this rooftop patio alone is larger than most units, uh, you know, financial district downtown King West. So 1.5 million, it's a steal to me. It's a very, very good value. Okay. The next one uh, I got queued up for you is uh, 50 Curzon uh, Street, Unit 505, 1.4 million. Let's look at the map here so you see where you are. So now we are at Leslieville. So much east of Young. We're literally the heart of Leslieville. Leslieville, one of the hottest neighborhoods, the hottest on uh, Queen East. So this is the Queen East neighborhood. Just generally speaking, I just call it all Queen East. So you start at uh, Riverside and then go to uh, Leslieville and then you're at the beach. And we're going to take a quick look at the photos here. So this is another uh, classic townhouse uh, Toronto style development. So you'll find a lot of these spaces, uh, they look somewhat the same because that's what the space allows you to do. Um, they're all brand new, very well designed, uber modern, super clean, you know, everything works, high end everything. So this is a very good uh, situation. If you like the neighborhood, it's a family friendly neighborhood, lots of greenery here. Uh, you can walk down to Toronto's wonderful beaches. There's a whole closet room. We did a nice uh, closet at uh, 701. Just filled it with shelves and moving drawers and everything. Here's your patio. Another view. This looks like the basement. Yeah, and it's got the window on top and here's your unit. So very nice development. Um, here you're gonna get, it's a lot of space for a lot less money, okay? Because you're moving east of uh, east of um, the Don. So 1.4 million here gets you well over 2,300 square feet, three bed, three bath. So very, very good value for your money here, okay? And new development. So if you're looking for value and you're looking for family friendly and be next to a park, this is a very good option. Checking on the parking situation here. The condo fees are very low, 562. And there's one parking. Okay, so this is good. Uh, 50 core zone, unit 505. There's another 50 core zone. This one, so uh, unit 501. So let's go over this one. Uh, it's, it's more or less the same price, 1398. So you can see the whole development here. It's a row of these townhouses. So you get a lot of space uh, for the money. This is beautiful. I can smell fall in the air. Uh, the color palette here is slightly different, but these homes, this one looks slightly wider, maybe because it's a corner unit, and it's also designed to be a family home. This is really nice. So obviously it's a more of a dense uh, situation, there's higher density here, but you get lots of space, and this looks like a corner unit. Pretty sure. Uh, three bath, three baths, uh, about 2,300 square feet with a large terrace. 20 pot lights just came on the market today day on market one 577 so slightly larger unit with parking very very nice this is gorgeous this is a very good investment very very good value for your money okay 207 Manning so Manning we, we, we bounce in all over the city here because you know the sort order is not necessarily uh, geographic uh, but here we are so we're going back um, to downtown west, okay, 1.395, so 1.4 million, three bath, three baths, was 1,600 or so uh, square feet, maybe 17, doesn't say exactly, 1,700, okay, and it's got gas, so obviously the price per dollar here is higher, because as you get closer to the core, the price goes higher, just how it is, okay, so you get, um, there's an exchange of location, proximity to the core, uh, the cost more or your space shrinks for the same amount of money whichever way you want to look at it nonetheless a very nice unit these people have nice style uh, gas stove gas range very very nice living you can make like some serious parties here very classic nice wood 
good bedroom, everything is great here. Okay, this is 207 Manning, 207 B Manning Avenue, three bath, three baths, 1700 square feet. I got three more to go. So, number 15, 58 Orchard, so that's Young and Egg, 1.1499, so 1.15, and for that you get uh, 1420 square feet, so well below a thousand a foot, two bath, three baths. You notice how a dollar per foot that is a thousand for, say, a 600 or uh, 700 uh, square feet, even an 800 square feet condo downtown uh, becomes lower as the size of the unit is increasing and as we move away from the downtown. Okay, so a thousand is kind of my uh, measuring stick, but it, it changes based on the location, the size, and many other factors, of course. Okay, uh, also the condo fees are uh, slightly uh, higher at 1041. And the taxes are 5,800, so it's a bit higher on the monthlies. Okay, now these condos um, are uh, this is neo, neon condo is called it. Just uh, Young and Egg, just I believe it's just slightly west of Young, and it's a smaller building, so the condo fees may be slightly relatively higher. This is okay. That's what it is. I'll give you a bit of a view here. All white and modern. Some good laundry facility. That's a nice space. That's a very, very nice, gracious space. Classic. It's really beautiful to sit in a room that opens to the top because it gives you this airy feeling. That's the uh, lobby for neon. One of the bedrooms. Some baths. That's good use of space. It's, it's tighter space, but it's very nice. Uh, it's about 15, 1,420 square feet, still a sizable unit, and way below 1,000 a foot. So relatively speaking, very good value here. Very, very good value. Okay, and now the map, just to show you, is here. So just west of Egg, uh, west of Young, north of Egg. Okay, that's around Duplex, basically like at the corner of Duplex there. Here's the building. That's the actual neon condos I remember the opening here and it's a nice sleepy residential neighborhood that's duplex Avenue right here so it's phenomenal because that's that's Young Street and Eglinton is right below you that's the Young and Eglinton parking so it's a bit of a busy street but at the nighttime you'll be very quiet and quite residential So as an investor, I would, I would certainly look at this one because the location is fantastic and the price is very, very good for this type of unit. Uh, Eldora Avenue. We'll start with the map for those uh, less known. So we're way at Finch. Young and Finch, not too far from my dentist. <laughs> but it, it's worth looking because, you know, it's, it's good. So this is only a million uh, eighty-eight, million one, three bed, two baths. 1600 square feet so you can see how and you know the subway is right there that the bus is right there so if if you like the uptown if you work uptown if you need to be uptown you don't need, you know for this kind of space you'll find you have to spend a lot more downtown so there's always a give and take spacious and here's a park you're right on top of the park that's a very nice view to look at could be very good and we got yeah we got the shelves we got the shelves so for a family situation it's a very very good look here's a big park right there so for family situation it's 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 a very good thing to do so it's, it's a good place to be so don't discount any area of Toronto not to live not investing he, this is the, the little uh, pocket of towns here because you know all you get here is this little bungalows Maybe someone one day will buy these three or four or five bungalows and make them into a similar kind of situation, but you're not in a tower, okay? And you got a corner unit, and, and it's, it's a nice residential neighborhood. So it's very nice. And that's the park right there, okay? I think when Google came here that day, it was under construction, but sometimes you can zoom around and see it when it's not under construction, so gorgeous. Okay, this is the last Toronto townhouse for sale that I have for you today, number 17. 1244 Dundas Street East, 1 million 80. These things, I remember we sold them originally a long time ago. <laughs> a long time in my way, but um, yeah. 
This may be five or ten years old, and it's very, very nice. Look at this. So this is on top of beach, Gerard East. I'm going to go back, and I just wanted to show you. This is another family situation. A lot of these are good for families, and there's clearly a family living here. And I thought I saw, like, two little uh, kid beds, but here it is. They're very nice and clean. Quite modern. Yeah, here we go. So here's a, a little uh, kid situation. One of the old twins. <laughs> Mom and dad. There's your park. And there's a lovely picture of, of uh, the neighborhood. So Leslieville. Uh, you know, to get a house in Leslieville is very expensive. Multiple bids. Da 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 da. So one million eighty for three bedroom, three baths in Leslieville, over 1,800 square feet um, with some outdoor space. So your little one can stay there and you're safe. That's very, very good. Okay, 1,840 uh, square feet interior and 200 square feet exterior. Walkout Terrace and 170. I'm not sure what they mean. Maybe there's two of them. Um, let's look at the fees here. 683, so that's very good and the taxes are reasonable too. 58.50 for the year, so very nice, you know. So this thing will cost you about 900 a month. Um, it's quite inexpensive, because you know, in town it'll it'll be a lot more for this kind of thing. So this is it. This is Yossi Kaplan. Today we reviewed 17 Toronto townhomes for sale, uh, based on this list here, and I basically went through and picked a whole bunch for you. Did you like it? Did you not like it? What's your favorite? What's would you invest in any of these? Would you not? Let me know in the comments. Thank you very much. I'll see you soon. That's it.